What's going on you guys? In today's video, I'm going to be printing a huge Black Panther statue on my Raze 3D N2 Plus and giving you a little bit of information about this wonderful 3D printer. Let's check it out. All right, so here's the finished print removed from the printer. All of the supports have been removed. This thing is 24 inches tall. That is so impressive. So impressive for a 3D printer. Just to give you a little bit of a comparison, my original 3D printer that I started off with, my MakerBot Mini just a few years ago, only could print a four by four by five, I believe build space volume, and the Raze 3D can print up to 24 inches tall. This thing is super impressive. This file was provided me by the art of Seta Dom, and he actually modeled this after Corey Smith, an illustration that Corey Smith had provided and posted online. And it's very animated, characterized version of Black Panther. And I think it's really, really friggin' cool. So he actually sent this over and I decided, you know what, this would be a great file to actually test out the entire build space that I can print with on the Raze 3 and 2 Plus. I've had that printer now for about a few months and I've been printing a whole bunch of different pieces for an upcoming project that I'll be sharing with you guys here probably in the next few weeks. Uh, or maybe even next week, I don't know. Uh, it all depends on how much further along I get with it. But I'm really loving the printer and it's got an amazing interface with it where it's got a touch screen, it's got wireless technology built into it so you can go beyond your computer, sending files directly to the printer and working with it directly from there. Uh, two spool holders, This the N2 Plus can actually support uh, two extruders so you can do all the whole dual prints there, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna do some really fancy uh, intermixing of colors on the actual print. There's some really cool options available for you on that. For this one, I just went with a straight Zealtec uh, gray PLA that I had on hand. I had some extra leftover from the project that I was working on and decided to print this out. It took, I think, 67 hours to print on the Rays 3D. And again, I'm pretty dang happy with how it turned out. There are some layer shifting issues um, about halfway up the print and a little towards the top where I've got a little bit of a layer line shift there. If this was like a helmet or something like that, I wouldn't really mind too much uh, since I'd be able to sand it smooth. This particular print I'm just planning on leaving as a display piece. I'm not going to paint it or anything like that. Uh, and just leave it as is. I think it's really cool as is. One other thing that I ended up doing with this print that I'm not familiar with is I ended up taking this into Mesh Mixer and applying a smoothing function to it. Since I scaled this file up drastically to print on the Raze 3D, I needed to smooth out some of the pieces and thankfully Maker's Muse had a video explaining how to use the smoothing function in Mesh Mixer. So I'll include a link down below to Maker's Muse channel and to that specific video if you're ever interested in either printing this super large or just in general smoothing out or needing to smooth out some of the files that you're working with. Some of the details were lost a little bit in terms of the face or around the body, but again, I think overall for what I'm intending on using this for is just a, a really cool background display piece. I think it's really, really freaking cool. Also, just to give you guys some comparison of how this Black Panther print stacks up against maybe the Hulk print, the statue print that I did not too long ago. They are similar in height, but the Black Panther statue actually beats it out by about an inch or so. And this again was printed in a whole bunch of different pieces, I believe on the CR10 and, or maybe the CR10 Mini and CR10. And again, this was printed all in one piece. So super impressive. I should also mention that they, this was printed at three, uh, three millimeter layer height and 5% infill as well. So I could have gotten a little bit better detail potentially out of the print if I would have decided to let it print for maybe five or six days versus <laughs> the four or so that I had it print for this particular project. Uh, again, absolutely loving this. I'll have links down below 
to Set of Dom's uh, Facebook page as well as his Gumtree account where you can actually purchase this file along with some other files of his that he is selling. So again, thank you to Set of Dom for providing the actual file. I should mention as well that there are a few different poses that come with this if you end up purchasing it, uh, as well as there is an optional base that you can print with the statue that I did not go for. I just went for the standard uh, standalone here of him standing solo uh, for this particular project. But again, a huge fan of the movie Black Panther. Absolutely loved it. You can anticipate I will have at least two more videos around Black Panther projects that I'm working on. Very excited to share those with you. I just want to say thanks again to the folks over at Raise 3D for sending that over. You can anticipate a full review of the unit in the upcoming weeks, as well as a, I should be hopefully sharing a look at that larger project that I'm working on, which I will hopefully have everything finished printed and printing and uh, actually starting some of the finishing work on that over the next few weeks. I might end up making those into a series of videos. We'll, we'll see. But I just want to say thanks again for watching, you guys. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this massive print and what I should do with it. It's actually a little too large for me to even stick up here. All you're going to see is legs if I have them sitting up there. It's too big to fit down here. I might end up just having this guy sit on my desk in my office, to be honest. Hey, thanks again for watching, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. Hey, did I mention, if you liked this video, you can head down below. There's a link where you can buy me a coffee and help support the channel. Pretty cool concept, right? Also, I have a Patreon if you're interested in taking part in that and joining in in the Patreon club and, help, again, helping support the channel on a more monthly, regular basis. Those sort of things. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys.